sides and now we should be ready to go hop into this best of five series and get it cooking we've got optic we've got legion team change on the legion side and listen they had a lot of improvements last qualifier it was impressive to see them look it out to like the best online qualifier sequence they've had as an organization as a franchise we're right into the map one as kenny gets into the point yeah, I see Manero gonna get taken down. Nice shots, I'm sure team shots were coming Ooh. in from Kenny, and well, he's gonna find three, so a great start here for Optic. Trophy already down, that will help you out. And now Shotzi, this is where he's gonna get loose. Already has eyes on P2. Does get taken down though by attach, but it's all the MCWs, a perfect start here for Optic Texas. Yeah, they're having to deal with him towards the P2 rotation, fine. Just soak up that time while you can. You'll take anything you can get from this opening P1, and so far, so good. This has been, I mean, you get the three kills of your kitty, so it was an easy time. You had to fight for it, but since you got there, you have been vibing inside of the point as the rest of the battle has been going on around. You take the early rotation, now try to answer back here at P2. We'll see if you can do that if you're Legion. You have a 42 points in that P1. That's tough. No, I mean, that is just an unreal start now. It just comes down to this uh, rotation, right? We saw this a lot yesterday. Then our matches on Karachi, just sort of this back and forth battle. Nero going to be the first man to at least find that first kill. But where's the break going to come in from? Shotzi just trying to buy time, be annoying. He's just going to fly on through, runs out of bullets, and a team need is in. So behind that, Legion will hold control. In 30 seconds left, probably going to be the last time Optic goes for this. Yeah, they're trying to funnel this through They might red. flip them out, they will. So a nice play there. And that's what we mean with these fundamentals. They seem just right through the middle of the map. He's going to have two players junk. Yeah, he was kind of holding mid, seeing where the spawn was going to come in for Optic. Second, you see information pushes out. And as you said, could end up being a fantastic setup for next. We hop over to his POV, and he's just lurking through. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you're you just kind of holding junk here if you're Optic. Like, they've just kind of given it. They have to know at this point. The presence is here, right? Like they put nobody near the hill, nobody towards this backside. Maybe they were just afraid that someone was already through here. So let's keep control of Junkyard, start our push from there, and that's going to be the call. So they keep Kenny on that side. You get someone on the hill. It looked a little bit weird on the mini-map, but they stabilize. Yeah, for a second, I was like, they realized somebody got through. But uh, yeah, the fact you're able to play together as a force there and work on the retake. You now go back up in this game, get to the point. We'll be on arrow for a second to see what creativity he's maybe able to muster up as he works his way towards the point. But you've got to lock down for now. If you are Optic, seem a little slow start here at two and five, but still tight in the overall scoreboard. And you're able to get this break. So final 20, looking the other way of Vegas Legion. Kenny and Shotzi still going to put pressure on this hill. So they're going to be right into it. And then over towards the rotation, P4. We saw Ultra do such a good job the, all, okay. yesterday through. That's going to be four dead. So they can get that set up top AC, top three, and spawn Optic. At least I thought top side of the map. But looks like Shotzi spawns Bridge. Dashy at Coop just because the old hill was still up. I'll see what they can do with it. Back over to a seam for now. Nothing really for him to work with mid-map as he's trying to get eyes. It'll be Shotzi top ridge, waiting, lurking. Now just going to get into the point, try to maybe make some movement happen here for Optic Texas. It does in the way of Shotzi. He's able to get the hill, but you know, this it's hard point. It can be tough to fight time. It can be white more often than not. Well, it's just sort of we need to find, we need to hold down these specific positions, and neither team has been able to do so because of those split spawns. So those splits come in. You don't have bridge control. You don't have top three. Vegas doesn't want to give up the full, full map control by losing those power positions. So they're just kind of playing around. This is Nero able to snap. So not a lot of time on either side. And now on rotation, Asim able to find an Oper on a Shotzi. Now just hoping his teammates can get there to get the trade on a Dashi. Well, I guess we Dashi is trying. I thought to finesse as best he can, but it's Nero's on a bit of a heater now. He's up to 10 kills on four in a row. That'll end there. Shotzi pouncing. One still above. Trophy, yep, that's in front. The read is there for a second up top of the shield that's actually able to get two. And yeah, you got two minutes off of the play clock because there's been a lot of time. Just nobody inside the hardpoint. All the battle's going out around it. No, but great play by Geo there. Just to stay patient top balcony and just kind of lurk. Shoots the first player towards the back car and then gets this second out of the hill since that play. All the time has gone the way of Legion. They take the lead. One of the best breaking teams in the game is Optic and Fred and Kenny. Can at least get Legion off the time for now.
Let's see if they can get the remaining scrap time here. Some other fights going down across the map. You got a one-on-one -on -one for Asim, who's going to kind of be the point man on the other side of this setup. As Dashi backs down from that fight, they do get the rest of that time. They do go back out in front, but still very low scoring affair. Yeah, right our, really is. Into our second set of uh, rotations. So it's not Karachi. Well, you think about what? Optic got 42 at the, the first hill. Yeah. Since then, he got less. 40 points, 10 points per hill after that. So, yeah. Yeah, very weird one, but just both teams. It honestly reminds me of like Invasion, right? Where yeah, yeah. You're just fighting for certain positions on the map, not overextending on these hills. And maybe that's just the type of game both of these teams want to play. Trying to maybe find mistakes and punish people, but I haven't really been able to do it via the objective all that much yet. Hello. Looking to suck up some kills. It's attached. You see Monero, though, able to pick them up. Monero still cruising up to 15. No aim assist there. Was he alive? Ball. Good luck. Finally able to get it. Soaring out is attached. Back at the point he goes. Uh, spawning back dumpster. You got two players there that are going to pop for Legion. So they're going to try to rotate over for P2. You already had two players here in Optic. It's a big gunfight now going down. Geo gets two. I thought it was going to be dashing with the double. But it's Geo that comes up big. The wall bang there, though, from Kenny. Yeah, he's up top balcony from Red, and he's able to get the player on that cross. But a nice job, nice awareness for Optic because a couple of players spawn behind him. Shotzi spawned up junkyard side, gave the comms to his teammates. But Vegas are going to be in control of this. Behind that two piece from Geo, and that's his second of the game where it is turning to time for Legion. Yeah, yeah, a little two on two that the multi kill ends up being huge. Geo starting to make some plays, but on attach right now, the vet 15 and eight. As Dashi wins one and you look to collapse, Attach is trying to get position, maybe trade it out, but it's not going to happen. Asim's been waiting and lurking the entire time. It's Kenny once again, just getting shots on through into Diner. Now you're going to rotate and try to set up if you're leaving. And that is just all Dashi right there. Just winning the first gunfight and waiting. His teammates spawn back alley. You have Nero Ooh. far Ooh. on that rotation. Nice shots out of Geo, but Dashi buys enough time for his teammates to collapse on the hill. So the final three doesn't go the way. Elysian's still a very close game. But you see one player spawn out. Now two players spawn out. That is not one you wanted to go down. And who was it again? Dashi on four in a row. Well, now it's on the two players by the point. Can you get some kills? Can you buy some time as they try to collapse and maybe get a little bit nutty with it? But the numbers were there for Dude. a moment. It's another multi-kill from GL. Vegas Legion with a newcomer is seen trying to make the plays down the stretch to elicit in. With Vegas Legion, we go. Yeah, I have it. We need help, Tom. We need help. Yeah, you back, Tom. Chucky in the back. Sure. In the back. In the back right. Okay. And one's back right. Okay. And one's dumpster. Watch the guy. Dumpster in back right. Nice. Dumpster. Watch right. Up. He's on time. On time. On time. It's for it's for Chucky guys. Nice. Chucky made one shot. Chucky made one shot. Yeah. Missing Pred. Pred. He's gonna go freeze. He's probably gonna go freeze already. There's two freezer. Two freezer. Two freezer. Two freezer. I'm on front. Three. 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 There's two on time. Two on time. There's three. There's three. Make sure you're all drunk here. All right, one back right, back right, part time. We need to get killed. We need to get killed. I have coop, I have coop. Dashi's gonna hit coop. Dashi's gonna hit coop. I'm on green. That's still the guy I spawned. I get time, I get time, I get time. I'll show you a geo. Her, her, her. I'm not sure how bad you're gonna get. Third, third one shot, Dashi. Nice. I'm looking for him. He's one shot, Dashi. Third. I don't see him, he's bricks, he's bricks side, bricks side. I got killed from bridge. Dashi's at bridge. Dashi's still third, Dashi's still third. Stay alive green, just stay alive green. Low green, low green, go on top green, go on top green. Low green dead. Nice. nice. Kenny's I'm still cool. Kenny's still cool. Top side, top side, top side. You just sit yeah, there. Green He's gonna sit there. Top three, top three. Just sit there. Top three. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm looking for him. Look at that kid. It's a one. Yeah. Small minor. My small minor. My new. Okay. I can pinch top three. Let me pinch top three. I'm waiting for you to pinch him. I'm just gonna get that. He's out. Let's go. 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 Someone come new with me. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. Geo, Geo, look low at your top. Top green, right. Chatsy. Need to go, need to go, Geo. He ran away. Let me know if you chose. I can help you. I got your left. I got your left. They're gonna hit around the back. There's nothing coming. I got your back. I got your back. Nothing coming. The front is quiet. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. I'll get time for you, Geo. Don't worry. Someone come in. I got you. Let's have a look at the back cross. Everyone chat. I got a kill from third. Mike, then. Nice. One sold, one spent. One sold, one spent. Listen, sometimes it happens. I love the small talk there with the same Geo as they're rotating, but it's just, ah, I got shit on his dashy. Just comes around and puts him down. Yeah, and that's just one of those gunfights we, we've kind of talked about. That is where he has to win it, but a headshot comes on through. And throughout these hills, you know, you look back at the P2, Dashi has gone massive and has led to this break. Just you were fully set up if you were Legion. You heard kind of attached say, I spawned up behind him. I'm going to hit this hill top three. They back up towards Cafe, and then it's just the one gunfight. 
and the domino falls. Well, it's and just, now it's Opti in the lead. It's just tough because that's who you hit. We bring him in to maybe give you a little more firepower there. But that's Big Brucey, dude. Sometimes he's just going to put you in the dirt. <laughs> and now you're up 25 and climbing. What a hill this has ended up being off the back of that gunfight win being a massive part of it. But now, with just a little bit of time left, we get ready for our next shooter shoot right now as he win. That out have been ludicrous is nearly a couple pops with the Renetti up top. But what are you seeing now is we're ready for our third set of rotations, Joe. Yeah, just Vegas kind of goes after this, right? But you had Attach just kind of hanging out towards the bridge side, but nobody really on the hill for now. Geo's going to hit it, and we're down to 55 seconds on the play clock. So this has continued. It could come down to that. But P1 has been a hill where both teams have been successful throughout this game, and so far it's all Legion as another lead change is looming. Yeah, we're not usually talking about the uh, play clock on Karachi, but we'll see if that ends up being the winning condition. Shotzi now looking to pound. Shots a little behind on the first, so not able to get it clean and snap on to the second, but back to Kenny. Just one before he will drop as well. Two points separating these squads. Now, number five on the main map, that's going to be a Tatch who's rotated early. He's got a one-on-one -on -one and a big one there. That was Kenny trying to push over dumpster side. So they've gotten set up. This is everything you want right now if you're Legion. No doubt about it. It's like kind of where do you want to push from? Like just Dash, he's got two players to deal with. His teammates are at P1. So they're going to get to scrap time, but also start the, the pinch through red. As Shotzi does get spotted, put some shots in from up top, but it all comes maybe down to this break. Here we go, a scene with the first. You know how good they can be on the break. That is Optic Texas. So are they going to be able to do it yet again? Spawning up and the hit back dumpster will be the rest of the squad. Really playing around. Bust still is going to be Pratt. He's trying to stay up and cut off the reinforcements, and he's done that. So you're going to have a three on two here in a second. The collapse of the point, that's a big one on one for Shotzi. One more player up. Kitty's able to take that. You get him out of the point for now. So with 35 left, but Attach makes some plays. It's still been messy, but... Oh, yeah, he does enough, but then it is Pred. Attach played his life so, so well. It's not going to come down to this, though. We still have to rotate to next. 30 seconds on the play clock. A couple of Legion members going after this, and I don't know if that's the right call, because you look at the rotation, it's Kenny and Shotzi lurking up. There are two players just kind of hanging out and attaching a scene, but they're going to get spotted. And what a play there from Optic to get the break, and now this rotation. Uh, yeah, I thought you got just enough kills if you were Legion, but you keep supplementing the reinforcements as fast as you can. Now with a 30 to go on the play clock, Legion going to be into it. A one-on-one -on -one near the point is we're on Kenny's POV, and he's wrapping around trying to find the angle. Nero able to spot it, get him to 53 HP, but not win it. Now you're in position to lock this down. Lead change back to Optic Texas. Here comes the onslaught from Legion now. Yeah, 24 seconds, and they know exactly where this push is coming from. You have all players here for Optic Texas. Watch it top three, watch it top two. And now that is going to be three dead. It hasn't been the cleanest of games. Such a back and forth battle, but this might be it. You got to break this now if you're Legion. Ten points to go for the victory, but the kills keep flowing for Optic Texas. They needed to lock it down. They need to lock it down now. They've been doing just that. Three to go for the victory. Nobody getting close. Five three to end it for Kenny and Optic Texas. They get the dub there, but it was, uh, dude, look at some of the reactions on these guys. Like, <laughs> oh, it was, uh, it was a weird Karachi through the first couple of rotations. Yeah, it's kind of like, what was that map? Yeah, yeah. honestly. And maybe Legion's just trying to slow the game down to not let Shotzi make the kind of plays that he maybe, likes maybe, to do. Yeah. In, in a way, it worked. He only has 20 and 27. You see the slaying. I, I think Vegas outslay him. But honestly, just the a breaks. couple the of breaks. plays from Dashi at P2 and P5. And, and then over on that rotation, you kind of go at it one more time if you were Legion. That spawns two players out because they get shut down. And it makes the P3 setup not good enough as Legion were able to win it. Or sorry, Opti able to win it there. Yeah, as you said, uh, I think we both talked about kind of... That P2, yeah, I think Prev was like the only guy really in position. Just the choice there to cut off the reinforcements that probably is what gave them like the one extra domino in that play to actually end up taking it over. But yeah, I thought maybe we're going to time, but it's Optic with the ice late. Great battle there from Legion. As I was, I mean, I, the reactions of the Optic players' faces were, uh, yeah, pretty much how I was feeling throughout most of that. No, it was, a, it was a weird one. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just really it. And maybe just Legion just trying to slow them down as much as possible, play around. The power positions, not as much the objective. But it does not matter as they were able to clutch on up. But I, I think you had some 
massive multi kills out of Geo, which allowed Legion to stay in the game. Then after that, it's when Dashy starts to go nuts on these rotations, on some of these breaks. And then sometimes it's those individual gunfights like we saw at FIFA. Yeah, it's just tough because, listen, we're really excited to see how this works out for Legion. But, you know, uh, after you know, they make the change to bring in Geo for Standy, um, they start out great. That looked like immediate improvement. But, you know, it wasn't a test like this, right? Like, where you're, you're racing, you're coming in, you're battling against Optic, like, immediately. Uh, a little bit different here. So, yes, the change is to be able to beat teams like this, to be able to be a bigger threat against the top four. But I don't know that anyone was convinced it was going to be instant. And it's just one of those things where right there towards the end, you finally got into a setup where you knew where the push was coming from. It wasn't a messy one there towards P3. It's like, okay, we have them spawning coop. Everybody just hold your irons. We got this locked down. But you see how close this game was. Yeah, just... Uh, and what's the largest lead? 18, 23? And really, it's P1. It's 42. Well, <laughs> it's the first hard point and the last hard point of the game where, like, any of the big separation came from. And it was the two, really the two strongest holds you got from Optic. Yeah. First hard point, last hard point. That's where they locked it down. That's where they got literally like 90 seconds of their 250. Where in those two of what a total of 13, 14 hard points. What the hell we went through? It was wild. Oh, it was. And uh, now looking at the maps, Samoa is. And as Namus was talking about, you don't have the prettiest maps in if you are optic, but just working on that map pool, going to an invasion, search and destroy, where they're sitting at three and four. But this is one Vegas has played 11 times. They are three and eight. Well, no, this has been uh, the mode they want to get better at. Well, that's kind of been the question mark just with this change. Um, I, I think, listen, we like Persia as a player, but we, we love a team as well. And I think they're, like, similar in a lot of ways. And maybe it could be an upgrade. But just same question mark sort of that Ant was talking about. Like, the problems in Search and Destroy, you can win respawns. Is, are the respawns been tough against maybe the top teams? Yeah, but I don't know with that much of an upgrade that's going to make that huge of a difference. But the Search... I don't know. Yeah. Uh, maybe the first bloods they need desperately, that, that'll be enough of a bump for them, just some of the opening duels they'll have. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited, too, because that was the one question mark we had. Like, I, it's not like it's an easy thing. Like, oh, we make a one-man trade, and suddenly we're a good search team. It doesn't work like that. But that's where you need to help the most. Yeah, again, I just think it's one of these moments throughout a season where Legion, they know they're close. They can feel it. I'm, when they're scrimming every single day, they... They can see they're playing these guys at the top very tough, and maybe they just felt like this this was the moment to go for it. Well, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, 100%. It's just, I guess I'm going to have eyes on the search and see how that one ends up playing out. But Optic Texas, who were uh, all laughs and mind-blown looking faces after that first one, will now dial it back in for our game two. Invasion s &D, you see it overall. You mentioned you played 11 times. 11. If you are Legion. I think their other maps are like five maximum. Like this has been really their search home for this Legion squad. So you're home, but someone else is living in it, Joe. Yeah, no, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> when you're three, We're trying to make it your home, but I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have a squatter? Like what's going on here? Someone's in the second bedroom. <laughs> Just rates are too high. <laughs> Can't afford the mortgage. <laughs> All right, into it. Offense for Optic Texas. And this push up towards B, you can see the defense pretty deep. There. It's going to be Geo more often than not. He's been so good at B, but with no trophy in the early going, you have to play it deep. Pred can't quite track, and Nero is able to get that first blood. Wait, I think they just hear that door open. Does and Nero is able to get that first blood. Wait, I think they just hear that door open, does Nero? So he, he's ready for it. But really, that was just a bait on the cross. Ooh. Geo able to snap onto a second. There's nobody really on the bomb. He's able to find the one player going for the plant. Now it is all left to dash. Yeah, it's funny when I think about like this team and us casting him here. Like, what, what comes to mind is really how good Geo has been, like on that beat, that site. But yeah, it's three and eight. Didn't realize it was that. Poor. They've had some collapses. Yeah, I, I'm sure. I'm sure. But Dashi, a uh, guy that has been one of the more clutch players in the league. Just a lot of work to do and running out of time to do it. Able to get one of the one versus four, but it will end there. But a guy you do not want to take lightly in those scenarios because he can erupt. No, he can. And Again, you know, no trophies, so try to go right up that B street. And as soon as you get to the tank, that player watching the cross is giving that calm. That was Nero. Uh, but here's Gio on the 2 PCA. He just catches Kenny on the bomb. You're hoping maybe uh, Kenny plants maybe in a different <laughs> spot. It looks so funny as Shotzi as opens the door because, yeah. like, you know, we're, we're on his POV. But <laughs> you're so ready for that if you're a Gio. It's like easy reads. It does make a noise. Yeah. <laughs> 
Knock, knock, hello. Okay, yeah, you're, you're aiming at me already. She almost tagged his teammates there. He's just trying to hit shots in the cross. Flying across like a cheetah or something in the night. It's Shotzi. Yeah, something like that. Uh, but Shotzi, there were actually words. He's like in broken somewhere, but he just backs all the way on up. Was thinking about making a play. So I guess you'll waste some utility. Thinking that he crossed a broken. And some time, I assume, yeah. He's clearing stuff. And they have a good read on this. You, you back Kenny all the way up. You have Dashy right around mid tank. He can pick up the Dark Dally if he needs to. Attached, still going to be all the way deep. Worried about the push through. Maybe for a play in the flank, we'll get right to the site. Some big battles going down. Shotzi, who got here first, able to get one, smoke himself out, create a bit of chaos. And he's looking to keep dancing. Might be in trouble, though, just getting through. 5 HP, that should be a freebie then for the kill, but it's not because Preds on the flank, the help comes in, a seam will drop, and suddenly it's attached. All by his lonesome, and the boys are swarming. Yeah, I mean, he snaps on his Shotzi diving through. But what a play out of Shotzi. Even with 5 HP, 5 HP him just proning, it buys time for Pred to get there. Because that player, I think it was a seam who pushed through dark, won a gunfight, was going for that trade. Was thinking he had a freebie, but Pred... I was thinking he had a freebie. I yeah. said it. I said Pred gets there in the nick of time. Was looking at the minimap at that moment. Yeah, Pred comes in as the savior. I'll tie it up on one. He did have a lot of luck uh, on offense in the early going for that first round, if you are Optic Texas, but now a little bit different is it'll be a little bit different on the other side of it too. I thought maybe playing closer to that B site. Now you may have trophy available, but kind of a similar setup for Geo. He's still playing deep. You're just getting more aggressive up mid-map and through dark if you are Legion. Yeah, we see this a lot, right? Just sort of, if they cross the B, it's not the worst case scenario. We could play the retake. We could try to hit some of these long range shots to them on the bomb. Hit a couple of nades. And again, Kenny almost gets caught on the bomb and he does. So this this teamwork right here from Vegas hit him from all the different angles. Yeah, no, Geo and attachment, great. Geo kind of a tough gunfight through the door, but he gets enough damage in. Shotzi's still lurking, and they're just sort of playing the read still that he's going to be in this position and trying to make it a play. So playing it safe, working all the way around is going to be number eight. That's going to be a scene with Daddy Popped that's trying to him. find an opening. So yeah, can you stay alive until he gets there? Because he could be the dagger. So they just wait on him to make a play. He puts shots into Shotzi. Maybe that allows his teammates to go, but no, he's just in their front door. He's front door. And all three of them are looking for Shotzi. This is wasting so much time. He's able to find one. Now it's a two versus two. Yeah, that was a little unusual. I thought maybe going to send him off that play, but he still have a chance to do it. Dashi, okay. once again, last up. They'll take care of him, the two versus one and seal the round. But yeah, for a moment, I'm like, you might be running out of time if someone doesn't try to do something here shortly. We just saw three people hunting one guy down, and he wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, like, you know, you're thinking of Seam. If, if he's going to be a threat, it's more than likely going to be some of the people close to him, like deeper on the flank route. I didn't think the damage was going to come into Shotzi all the no, way No, I don't door. hate that. Just, you know, it doesn't allow Shotzi to make a play, but it, oh, almost, yeah, yeah, it no. almost did happen. Yeah, yeah. I just figured the second he put Shots into Shotzi, someone was going to... Yeah, they, Catch him. that player just went <laughs> through on his screen. Yeah. You had two others hit the backside on your screen. And where, like, where is he? Where is he? I mean, Shotzi is elusive. <laughs> Sometimes even when he's not trying to be, he's elusive. <laughs> but a 2-1 lead now. And the four Legion and similar kind of setup on offense. Maybe a little more aggression here from Optic Texas, though. But in a different position watching the flank well, for attack. This might be first blood for Nero. I mean, depending on when Shotzi wants to go. Nero is watching uh, across all the way through. Not even worried about this. But yeah, he gets shot into a, into a great spot. He's trying to bide his time and when he gets ready to pounce. Here's the smoke. That means it's time to go. Hopping out. Maybe going to destroy the round here is Shotzi. One, two, sets it up. He did lose two teammates at the same time. So it'll be a two versus two now. Shotzi and Pred up against the Tash and the Seam. Yeah, you weren't wrong. He could have, like, won the round himself. Yeah, the problem was is just that that execute was going down, and they found two of his teammates. I mean, he got there as quick. As soon as the execute goes, the smoke, he was all, he was out. But, yeah, lost two so fast. And, and while this has been going on, you had attached, really worked up the A street. They're going to rotate this all the way towards B. Fred watching the cross, so they will know. The time is ticking. 15 seconds. Can Fred get to oh, a spot? No, my. instead he gets caught. That is worst-case scenario. But what kind of timing does Shotzi get? Working on the ace now with Shotzi. Oh, yeah. Spots him, looking for it. 
Just trying to get the angle, able to do it. Shotzi does eventually seal the round for him. Maybe not the opening flank, but wins the 1v2, and the ace is there as well. Big play there from the playmaker, Shotzi. And that's just what you're taking so long to hit that plant. You're just going to get caught, and you saw the player on bomb watching over a seam. It's just a question of where is he, where's the push coming from? Attach gets caught. A seam now has to work the objective. Nice MCW shots, a little extra with that. But yeah, just while this is going down, yeah, it's just this mid tank execute, able to get out with his life. It turns into a 2 on 2. Yeah, I mean, he had a nice uh, kind of recentering on the Geo there. I mean, the only way that falls apart is if Geo is just able to absolutely snap, probably, and, and drop him. But I imagine, yeah, MCW in hand, and the rival's going to nuke you there. So aggressive position from Shotzi pays off, and then the clutch genes come through as well. So he'll be on four in a row after the ace, and now see what bit of magic he has into this offensive round. And this time, Neo, Nero, sorry. All the way up. Sometimes looking like Neo. Yeah, he is. And well, there we go. Did he get spotted? So you don't get any info there if you are opting, right? No nades, no stuns. Just kind of a free push into Broken. First blood for Nero. Yeah, I mean, the way Shotzi wants to play this map, sometimes, yeah, he's going to find moments and timings where he picks you apart. Sometimes he's going to get caught. That sounds it, like it, every map. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sort, of, sort, of, sort of does, yeah. Yeah. Sort of does. But there he ends up getting caught off of the incredible ace round. Now you gotta do this from a 3v4 position if you're off to Texas. Gilo's gonna drop into a three versus three, a seam with the trade, but Pred with another to a two versus two now. Attach, narrow, Pred, dashy, dashy, win another big one. Yeah, I mean, you take those trades all day, and then after this, you're able to catch the player on the flank, but attach, get a reposition. Shotzi just did it. Just has to be patient. That's not the player with the bomb. He doesn't know it yet, but Pred Ooh. just hops up top of the tank. Ooh. Hits him with the gunny. Well, I'll tell you what, like, I attach almost had the gunny. You need another bullet maybe into both? Oh, yeah, the centering is just, dude, that, that first bullet hits like a second ease ADS. Those were clean from Pred. I thought he almost got peeled, and Dashy wouldn't have been able to really effectively try to trade that because he was down to whatever HP. But you bring that back in a three versus four, it's a massive one there. And that's like, I mean, that's something that's plagued. I mean, you think back yeah, to the s and yeah. at the Major, I mean, uh, people want to put the round 11 on Purge, but, you know, you had a well, Purge on first blood. Nero gets caught after for a clean one to make it a three versus three. They've had a lot of these situations, especially on Invasion, where you have a four versus three, and you just let it get away. And then usually I feel like it's that player on the B Street working the pinch. You just get kind of caught with the timings time and time again. And that time is the same thing. Geo, first blood, four versus three. So another situation where you have a 4v3. Granted, a little bit different as you're working this now on offense, but can you execute with the numbers? Geo wins another, the little drop shot there. Kenny thought maybe he had it, but Geo putting the squad on his back in this round. Pred, though, still waiting, lurking. The information is going to be a little odd for him. Okay, he does get the information on that stun, then they head bash each other, and the seam gets one. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised they ended up going towards this A site. You got two picks on B Street. You're thinking that is wide open. Ooh, but they take their time. They use the smoke. They try to just make sure nobody runs through the smoke and has an incredible play. Is dashing out by himself. At first, I thought they were smoking, committing over towards B, and then they cut back real quick. And the timing for Pred looked insane because yeah, yeah, both sides didn't he want, pops like, up. Yeah, one of those smoke plays to happen. Yeah, yeah. A two piece, which would have turned it into a one on two for Dashy. Just kind of baited it a bit. Took their time. And Geo, what three in the round, I believe, because he had the first two, and then we'll close it out there. And those did not seem like easy fights. Uh, no, I mean they didn't have help. No, no. They were a bunch of one-on-one -on -one wins. The, the one when Kenny was close, that last one. I, we, I don't think we saw the first blood one, but yes, yeah, an absolute duels. I mean, you got some shooters on the optic side, that's for sure. Kenny, uh, he, he's struggling a bit. I mean, 0-5 right now. Probably having some of those one-on-ones like he just did versus Geo. Hey, another one here. He's going to back down and revisit that gun fight. And some oh, wall bangs some in. Info. Yep, there's some, there's some added info to this as they work up towards that. Yeah, I mean, with that, they're just kind of thinking, all right, this is like, there's at least 2B. But attached just from Dark Dally, able to find Shotzi. That's bombed down. Don't you love mantle and stuff? It just feels like it takes an hour and then you're dead.
Well, he normally doesn't do it. I'm sure he doesn't play on the settings we do when we're on him. <laughs> no, no, I know, I know, I know. It, it just <laughs> looks like yeah. you just have no chance to react. He's just dropped before you really do anything. And now four versus three again. And that's one of those ones that bites him sometimes. Like you have the advantage, somebody gets picked, suddenly advantage disappears. Yeah, that's just, I'm just trying to get a nade, but uh, you get peeled. Headshots connect. Kenny now working up. And it could come down to that player on the flank. It's going to be Nero again. Can he make a play? And this is what I mean. What are the timings like? Just Dashi was looking for for a second. She's going to come on through. There we go. Able to find it. A seam takes down Pred as well. Yeah, a seam I thought was about to get horrible timing as Pred was working like the flank on him, but he just turns and picks it up, able to win that fight. Now one versus two for Dashi. Just so little time to go. Able to get down to a one versus one. Six seconds. No bomb. Last alive is a seam. Hold on. And Maybe, nah, not going to get there in time. He's just guessing. Well, I thought it was just, if he goes after that bomb, like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he knows, where, right he knows where Pred died, so he knows the general area of it, but just no time to get it done. Another close one, though, as you said. Comes down to the clock, and yeah, that's just like, <laughs> finds the first blood, but he's hoping not to get picked like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen... Every team in the league is guilty of having a 4v3 and going to a 3v3. I just, just noticed it a lot with the search team that's been struggling in, in Vegas Legion. And not that they're getting a ton of first plus, you know, it's one of the weaknesses for the team. But if you're not going to get a ton of them, the ones you do get, you hope you do something with it. Nero's got 27 HP. He's like, boys, I'm getting fried through walls. Somebody, off, somebody, offense and defense, no matter what, they're just shooting through this area. If somebody's boxed them. up, I'm getting fried. It's Jimbo. Optic Jimbo. This is the day to get boxed up. <laughs> Absolutely is. Nero looking for info through the window. He said, now look to push and execute, but Nero's head is executed. Is just trying to throw some utility. Next thing you know, Same thing, yeah. bullets to the dome piece. Still drop quickly. There's a little nerf, but headshots still hurt. Oof. A little bit of an awkward time in there. I think the nade hit, so Geo's got to back down. Dashi is inching his way forward, now going to send it. Able to drop another tippy tippy tippity tap. You send it on to the last Optic Texas, get the round victory. And yeah, time was certainly against Legions, and now tied up 4 4. Yeah, I mean, after they lose the first blood, they just kind of re didn't really know what to do. Attach was trying to find a pick from DVD. Yeah, the seam just kind of lurking around Cafe, and then Geo was on the island, B Street. and. Maybe if Geo makes a play, what that does is then threaten to rotate. Opti has to figure out where this push is coming from, but it doesn't happen. And deeper we go. A banger map one, or a weird map one, but <laughs> banger map one, the sense of a ton of lead changes and very tight scoreline. Same going to be set here, 4-4, as we get deeper into it. Because Optic are looking for the 2-0 edge in this series. As the cross shots come in. Now we'll see maybe how this execute goes through. Nero... Kind of playing in an aggressive position. Did you say cross shots B. or crotch shots? I think I said cross, but okay. with my brain, I might have said crotch shots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know where they're aiming, dude. Maybe there's a. Maybe MCW got a nerf in some ways, a buff in others. You know That's what I mean? another headshot multiplier. Yeah, sure is, Joe. But now, look at the execute. Smoke out. Trophy out. Onto it. Just waiting for info for now before maybe working this plan. Kenny. He's going to get caught. Nero diving across and Pred trying to do it. Clean little burst of the face there. Woo! He's able to do it. Pred snapping onto another 8 HP and making the plays. Three versus two. Two versus two. Is Geo able to find another? They get the comp. They know Pred is still here. Both players working that B Street. Somehow he wins that. Geo, though, in a great spot. That is bombed down 25 seconds. Pred for the ace as he's able to get the kill. But yeah, 20 seconds to go. And Geo has made so many plays through this. spotted, yeah, so he's just going to go. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to use this dumpster, and I am high. But now, trying to get up on that cross, 10 seconds to go. Trying to sprint and get there. Bomb getting planted. Geo going, going, running. Will it be in time? Because now Pred looking to pop. Hello, Pred, ace. Some unreal kills from that man. I think another headshot pops up, and he gets worried. He knows Geo could be here, is ready for it, snaps. Up to double digits. 
a big one versus one. And he was just putting in some crazy scenarios. He, he got hit to 8 HP, I believe, on the first gunfight. Like, 20 HP there. Last one has to pop and burn him off of the bomb. Yeah, just some individual moments shining for Optic and for Pred. You now have a Shotzi Ace and a Pred Ace. And you're up around. <laughs> it's been a wild one. But the moment shining through for Optic. Just one more round now to close out this map. Can they get it done defensively? And this is what I like, actually. I like this little switch up, putting Pred and Shotzi together at times. I, I think this is when their search what they could do, add a, another layer where Shotzi, if he's going to be off on an island, send Pred with him so at least there's trades in, th in case things go wrong. Yeah, I, I think sometimes when Shotzi's like playing at his best in those individual moments where he's sore, and I mean, you've sort of said, like, oh, Pred's probably like, what, 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 what am I, what should I do? <laughs> when, when Shotzi's really exploring, you know? And uh, yeah, I think probably them playing together could, couldn't hurt as they continue to improve together. But you're on four in a row, and Pred. Look at the chow, look at the battle. Geo, caught, drop, streak, almost in for Pred, but can't quite finish it, but it's a first blood. It's number 11 on the board for him. Nero might be able to make a play through DVD. He's trying to find Shotzi on the pinch, and he's not going to find it, so another individual gunfight going the way. Pred able to get that cruise. It's a one versus four for attack. She's had some insane clutches versus organization, but not going to happen today. In a round 10, Optic going to go up 2-0. Uh, Pred gets a cruise. Never really needs to use it, Jill. The guy was on a tear. It was uh, what the mind blown faces uh, at the end of the map one. Now it's all smiles. Uh, Kenny is like, thanks for the carry, boys. Probably when he ended up with one, maybe two by the tail end we'll of it. We'll see his damage. Yeah, no, no. I'm sure the damage is going to be all right. Yeah. He's right there. He ends up watching. seen worse. 1,200 damage, 100. No, I know. It's just like, it's got to be funny when you're having that type of game, you're watching your teammates just like ace and like win those insane gunfights. It's kind of a, kind of a crazy one. But yeah, Shotzi at eight and seven has less damage than Kenny at one and eight. Those are always the funny stat line. It's really Pred and Dashy putting up the numbers and of uh, the 13 kills from Pred, 12 are non-traded. He has a monster one. The streak ends at seven. So. What? It's an ace followed by three in the round. Just a remarkable stuff in the takeover. What? Nine's round, uh, rounds nine and ten. Yeah, in just a couple of rounds where you have a first blood, if you are Vegas, you, you, you have more first bloods on the map than Optic, and they just get away from you. And that's kind of been the, the play. You're going the distance with these top teams, just not executing when you need to. Yeah, the search and destroy kind of struggles and mistakes continue for Legion, but it is a very fresh team change. It's a very tough matchup. We imagine it's going to take some time for them to solidify things on all fronts, but it was some absolute insane plays from Optic. An ace out of Shotzi, an ace out of Pred. They close out the map two. They go up 2-0. Well. Map three around the corner. Upgrade your game with a scuff the official controller of the Call of Duty League. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL.
You get back at it and ready to roll. It, uh, it's uh, it's interesting. I think I saw a couple of the stats guys going back and forth yesterday about like clutch stats. And like I think two of the guys I saw targeted were like Shotzi and Pred. And they both have aces, like clutch 1v1s. Like throw the stats out the window, I guess, because the boys are clutching today. Uh, That's what matters. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're putting uh, some great situations, able to win that invasion search to destroy. And now we do a high rise control where, again, they're one in three. They just played phase on it, probably should have won that. They threw a couple of rounds away. That is going to happen. But you see here, maybe the, the most glaring stat that I see. I mean, their attack win percentage is fantastic if you are opted with that round five, sort of the, those clutch rounds, two and four. All right, well, they just have the clutch moments in search and destroy. You're able to come up with some maybe here or close this out in efficient fashion. But yeah, some of the stats, I mean, it's just tough. They've had a lot of a lot of matchups with phase lately. You know, just think about going late in the major. I mean, some stuff's always going to be difficult when you're battling some of the top teams, like you said, with uh, like the metric for hard point, <laughs> you, know, you think about how crazy it is when and that's like one thing. It's it's like I almost like I love our stats have improved at times over the years, but it's like I, you want like an asterisk next to something sometimes when like it doesn't look as good, but like it's a lot better depending on who you played against. No, that's what we do, dude. Yeah, no, you're Just right. Play. You're right. You're right. We're the asterisks. Yeah, we're the asterisks. Except I make stuff up and you're accurate. Yeah. I think I'm accurate. I don't know. But if you want to go to major three, there you go. You can scan that QR code. We'll see you there. The high rise records, though, you've just got one win on this if you are Optic. 0 and 1 in round five here. So a few more reps on it if you are Vegas Legion. Shots of uh, dinosaurs and puppies. Everything. But now the map gets ready to explode as we hop into some sort of action film. Yeah, I mean, we saw, uh, yeah, just earlier today, Thieves is fifth teammate on the map. Oh, yeah, heretics were going through it, brother. Giant oil rig. I'll probably just blow it up immediately. If I could, but Geo just gonna get on this point, maybe pause this clock. It's uh trades back and forth. Shotzi was up top, propane, he's gonna, gonna drop on down, but I think for now you're pretty happy if you're Vegas because you're just pausing the clock as much as you can. You know this map, man, you can be in the absolute blender. It really relies on like your MCW's winning some crazy fights, whether you're getting spawn trapped or trying to get people in the trap. The one guy has really been shooting with the the guys at range outside of attachment will be Geo. He had some amazing gunfight wins. Didn't lead to a victory. Is Kenny maybe get a little bit of revenge for that search to destroy? Yeah, nice position there from Ken. Nero with the rival able to connect as he finds two. Maybe he opens up some of the lanes on the map, and that'll be all four dead. Dashy just gonna kind of hang out, lurk for now. Wait for his teammates. Hopefully, Vegas has a trophy down if they not attach. So they have to dodge some of these nades. It's gonna be three dead. Kenny, last player up. We'll see what p position Kenny can get to to maybe try and pick up some of these kills. Or what kind of threat you could be onto the B point. They don't get a whole lot done. You get about halfway to the second take of progress. Everybody ends up dropping. You're out of any potential traps so quickly if you're optic. And now time is dwindling. 20 seconds to go. 16 to 16 in lives. Pred is still snapping. He's on a force break. Yeah, I mean, you were trading well if you were Vegas consistently getting back to that B point, but they never put multiple players on it. So you kind of play for map control, for power position, and now you are in the trap as Pred, and the rest of Optic take over. You get the cruise missile, 11 spree out of the team. Yeah, and that's what uh, you know some of the top teams in the world and some of the top control teams are able to do here so efficiently. Uh, once you get that moment to just pin them in, it leads to streaks. It leads to decimation, but yeah, Fred, a big part of that is he was the kind of winning that final layer to get them really pinned in. Yeah, I mean, you, you get the four down if you're a Vegas to at least get to the point, and then if it's followed up by three more, and I don't know if a nade hit or what, but they just never had multiple players on a team. So what, you end up with one tick, I believe? Uh, was it one tick on each or is one tick total? No, you're right, might have been one tick total. Wasn't a lot. No, no, it surely wasn't. It looked good for like a moment. Yeah, like that three down, it looked good for us a second. And then literally you blink your eyes and now they're getting spawn trapped. Like it happened so fast. But this optic team with the talent they have, they can strike like a lightning bolt. Is Pride looking for more? Streak up to seven. Now it's the finesse game. How long can you be a nuisance here? You rely on your team to hold on one side. You try to be a threat on this one. You got another player coming in for help as well. 
you're at risk of being just put in a hole. A streak almost available for Kenny as well. Shotzi and Pred have made your base their base. Well, really, the big play is here. Kenny's able to win the first gunfight because he's on the point. And, and yeah, because you had two players of Vegas out. If they're able to deal with Kenny right away, that just relieves all the pressure off the map. So they recover well, but you still have Pred here. It's not a major life advantage yet. Not a lot of objective work done, but Optic in great, great positions. Maybe yeah, the fact he's still just a constant threat here, you should be able to rally the troops across. That's starting to happen straight nearly to double digits. We'll see if Pred can feast anymore. For now, they're just kind of ignoring him on the other side of it, but as Nero drops and the progression starts to go, A is about to be done. Now you just got to work B, and you're already set up there, but Pred's in behind enemy lines. He might be able to get vision and pick this across, but you're playing from low right now because you're so worried about him if you're Legion. I mean, he's just hanging out. This reminds me of like old school COD. Play some CTF here. Once you got to this spot, you were feasting. The problem is, is he hasn't been able to find much uh, once he gets nine in a row. Kenny, though, did earn a cruise early in this round. So you got two to work with. And it's only a one life advantage. So they used to do a pretty good job just leaving him on an island. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yes, you do get the harder of the two points, and you get a done. So it may ultimately end up leading to success. But you're right, he was kind of vibing for a bit. But you would think some of the positions you have to play if you're Legion and some of the threat that he is, that maybe there'd be some more openings for Optic. But you go two for two here now. Geo wins another. He's had so many multi-kills that have gotten him out of bad spots. Pride trying to answer back, but it's Nero that's able to finish that off of the wall. Bang, and now 12 versus 12, 40 seconds to go. Nero hitting a teardrop. And this is a moment I think Vegas need if they want to win this round. 30 seconds left, have a life advantage, and Optic are going for it. Get the eight point done, as you said. Let's open up these lanes with the cruise, as they kind of do. All of Vegas gonna have to reposition, so it's a two for two since the cruise was in. Shotzi waiting for the next. It feels like so much this round, you've been like playing from your your rat holes, your trenches, if you're Legion, because you've had to. Yeah, I had to do it again. You've made it work, and you're winning big fights as they're coming through. Six lives now remaining. Eight seconds to go. Finally able to finish one. Will be dashy. We got to get to the point. I don't think anyone's going to be able to do it. You lock it down, you hold on, and that's like... I, 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 just a great job yeah, by Legion. Legion, considering yeah, you couldn't get to your typical like power spots. Like It's hard to do when there's somebody in your base the entire time. It's hard to do when streaks are in the air. And, but and, they're managing know, to do it. And adding a new fourth, right? You, kind of going through some of those situations can be difficult through the comms, but they were able to get out. They all just kind of committed to, let's hit underground. Let's get out of our base. A's done. Let's focus on being leave Pred there. And once we get to the spots and control the map, then we can turn around and find Pred. And that's what happened. And granted, you take an advantage when you talk about the defense because yep. you get a dumb. But yeah, you yeah props to Legion just because that was a very like unusual stretch there, right? Like that's not one you can really mimic in scrims all that often. <laughs> like <laughs> someone's at our base on a nine spree. Yeah, and he's done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Right on to B. Go Legion. Shotzi trying to chow. He'll be put down. Just hoping for the protection here from the trophy. As you imagine, a lot of the utility will be exhausted, but a team able to win a big one no from trophy the point. Down. They keep, I, I assume they did the fact they were alive for so long. Usually you just get hail married out of there, but they get two bits done. Nero wins one with 8 HP. Now he's trying to finesse. And you're right, I just assumed there was, but the fact that they were staying up. Okay, but Teddy's in their base. So yeah, they avoid all the nades, or maybe they just didn't have them off the break of the round. And Nero's like, hey, you guys, can you get to me? No, they cannot. Just Kenny is in their base, putting them in a trap. Almost it's the fifth in a row. Able to find it. What a ma map out of Ken. Bouncing back from that game, too. Yeah, I've been trying to earn another cruise. He still has his. It was Pred that invested his, and now Kenny's still hunting, lurking, roaming, chasing, coming, trying to find something. The guy's just doing ring around the rosy on the map right now as he finally tracks back to it. They clear it with just a centimeter left to go, but an extra body there in the form of Geo. That'll finish the B point. So minute extension in, minute 40 to go, four life advantage for Optic, and here we go. And again, when you have someone in your base only being down four lives and getting one point, I think it... Good job handling that situation out of this Vegas Legion team. Nero, he's up to 20, leading the lobby. He's the, the rival to get him out of that time. So nice stuff from him, but Legion, not a lot of time to work with because it took so long to get beat. 
Got a bit, though. You got a little over a minute, but uh, with two down, you're really going to start to worry if they're going to get pinned, kind of like we saw in that round one, but you haven't really been able to push up and do that quite yet, but as every domino falls for Vegas Legion, imagine that becomes more of a threat. Now look at the map coverage you've got from Optic. Someone's got to win a gunfight and get an opener. Maybe that's going to be narrow. It's able to do it. The team tries to get top. Tread's just waiting and lurking. Attach can't get the trade. Now 45 to go, and are you even going to get a real crack at A? Yeah, trying to find an opening. At least get out of their base. You have Shotzi just kind of hanging out elevator side. He does get spotted, but Kenny continues to have a map up to 21 now. It's basically caught up to Nero. She so shuts down that side, the heli side of the map. Yeah, they try to push through the opposite side, isolate the player in the back, and it doesn't happen whatsoever. You get two pushed up, they drop. It's four kills through for Optic Texas. You're back to square one if you're Vegas Legion. And you'll tie it up in the round count, but you gotta think advantage still to Texas. They have another offense upcoming. So far, there's not really a threat to like the second side after the first goes through. No, not really. And I mean, this time obviously they, they're able to work B, but it takes a long time. It takes a lot of their lives. They're, they're put in scenarios where once again, someone sneaks through your base, deals with players time and time again, at, you know, spawning up, Ken's just there. Nero's like, hey, can you guys get over here? And they're like, no, we cannot. No, they absolutely could not. But now we'll see if they'll be able to get another. We'll close it out here on the offense, or at least get the take advantage for the round five. They don't need much. Due to the fact you held Legion to nothing their first time through. Or sorry, one tick. Eyes on Nero, he's going to drop. Kenny up the gut, who's been on a heater, trying to take another fight. He's able to do that. Rough game two, but firing at all cylinders here. We've seen him just take over on this particular map and mode. Even in some of their losses, he's individually gone on a heater. No, he has, but Legion fight back here. See him able to define one. You do get one player on the point, which causes a bit of a distraction, but it's not going to turn into much. Attach is able to hunt down Dashy Geo onto Pred. Vegas know if they want a round five defense, they have to be perfect. Can't allow plays like this to happen. It's a Shotzi this time. That's going to be all three dead. They're able to spot Geo. And hello. Nice spawn. Yep. Once again, just coming off spawn and having to be gun up. There's two players are going to try to isolate him now, but one of the more elusive players in the game. And they need to do it exactly that. Uh, he's, Shotzi's so far in their head, they're nading themselves. And Kenny still winning his gunfights up to 10 in a row. They're going to use the cruise now. They're going to use the yep. cruise. He's done, and you're on A. Oh, it's Nero using it. You still have one, right? Yeah, you, sh you should still have one more if you are Optic. Yep. We'll see when Kenny maybe opts to use that. Yeah, I thought it was the Optic streak thing. Let's go for this. Let's close it out. I sort of use it as a transition over to A, but you get another tick. You still have Kenny in your base. Dashi's rotating on over. This is going to be a three stack for now. Trophy down. Optic going for it. Going for the 3-0. The propane gonna blow up. Only finds one. Vegas have to get there. Not gonna happen. They close it out with the offense. It hasn't necessarily been the go-to control. You're off the Texas. You're working on stuff throughout this series, but you're able to win the Karachi hard point. You take the high rise there to get your second win. And I mean, honestly, the facial reaction of the Optic Texas boys has been comedy, basically after every single map. But you get it done here in 3L fashion. And Listen, it's a tough test for Legion, but you'd love to get a map. Yeah, I mean, definitely some odd maps. I, I, I think they played maps one and two close. This one, not so much. Not so much at all. I think they were outclassed here. Octa's able to win an offense, but just sort of, a, you have 27 non-traded out of Kenny. So he puts almost 5,000 damage in four rounds. On the other side, you know, Nero has a good game, but just get outslayed. Well, yeah, you were getting outslayed so much and never having that position that that just seemed like a very uncomfortable game for Vegas Legion. Like, I, it didn't seem like you were having a heck of a lot of fun. It, all the gunfights seemed so, so difficult because you were just in those kind of three, four down scenarios having to recoup so often. But sometimes you're going to out outclass for the top four teams. That's exactly what happens here. And that's a great win for Optic Texas. I mean, uh, listen, we don't know. We, we think, we think Vegas Legion, this should be a minor improvement on paper. That's kind of how we're looking.